Hello everyone. How you doing guys? How's everything? Me and Fernando are back here today and today's topic is Cigar Store Indians, which is something that we've been talking about doing for a while, uh, to talk about the history of the Cigar Store Indian and how it was first incorporated in the use of uh, marketing um, tobacco products and you know the history behind cigar shops. Yeah, and that's that's been one of the things I've been wanting to ask you for a while because in every like cigarette shop or cigar shop, you always see the carvings of, of Native Americans, all different sizes, usually at the entrance of the shop. And I always wanted to ask, like, when where does this start? When did it happen? Why do you guys like use so many of these of these symbols sure. in the cigar shop and and, and cigarette shop, and mostly in the cigar shops? Um, when did it start? When did it become a thing? When did it become a thing? Yeah, because you know it's, it's it's interesting to see. You know, yeah, you come and see the cigars, but then you see the Native American carvings, and you're like, why? Why? Yeah. Why are they there? Well, you know, it's funny because um, tobacco was first taken back to Europe uh, in Columbus's voyage to the New World, 1492. Uh, legend has it that the Mayans were the first to smoke tobacco. And then, of course, like in the islands in the Caribbean, the Tainos would smoke uh, the tobacco in the Cohiba, which was basically like their pipe, basically, of how they would smoke the tobacco. And that's another mm -hmm. thing. Now that we're touching about Cohiba, <laughs> we're going to talk about the, the Indian country, but Bejique. There's a Cohiba Bejique. Why? Well, I know the name the is... The Bejique, if I'm not mistaken, because Fernando yeah. threw a curveball. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just... It was one of the chiefs. The oh, Bejique okay. was one of the chiefs in the Taino... Um, you know, uh, culture. culture. Oh, all right. Yeah, and then um, there's several other ones, several other, you know, words. Pejique, cacique, of course, cacique. which is the chief. The chief, you know? yeah. Um, oh. But, we'll, you know, we'll save that for another program. Just in case you guys don't think that he's really knowledgeable in this, I'm, you know, every now and then <laughs> I'll throw him a curveball, so... But that's a good one. You, you, almost, you almost got me there. Almost, almost, all right. But anyway, by the, uh, by the 1500s, people in England were also smoking tobacco. Okay. Um, because apparently... Uh, legend says Walter Raleigh, Sir Walter Raleigh, gave some tobacco to the Queen of England at the time. Wow. And uh, then, you know, widespread tobacco use started in England and, of course, in Spain. And, you know, it, it really um, kind of expanded all throughout Europe, if you think about it. So, so pretty much the, the Native American carving was like the symbol to indicate this is a cigar shop or, or, or this right. is tobacco from America that is being sold here? Well, we're, that was the origins of how the whole thing got started, right? Yeah. But so what happened was like in the 1800s, more than likely, you know, during the frontier days, um, you know, a lot of people back then couldn't read or write. Okay. So what they would do is they would use the tobacco, the cigar store Indians, like this one or the one right behind Fernando, as uh, the symbols for their marketing of their product. Oh, wow. Yeah, so like people will walk around and say, oh, you know what, there's a chief over there, there's an Indian. That's a smoke shop. That's a smoke shop. The, the, the look, excuse me, the shoe. Yeah. Shoe repair shop. Shoe repair. So now people knew that that was the shoe, the shoe place. Um, oh, like the, the barber pole. The barber pole for the, oh, for the barber shop. For the barber shop. Um, you know, now if you go into the, like the Industrial Revolution days, the muffler man. I know in New Jersey there was one <laughs> right there <laughs> off of I-9 in the Jersey the, City. The, the, muffler, the muffler man, man yeah. was the symbol for, you know, um, that there was a muffler shop. But, yeah, these, these were all symbols that were used basically to market the product. Okay. But, you know, in essence, I think, too, um, what a better way to pay tribute to them, yes. you know. Because, I mean, really, they're, they're the ones that really started, you know, using tobacco. This is also a belief that it brings you good luck. I was going to say that. Thanks, for, just, thanks for just, touching you know, on that. I, I personally, uh, <laughs> I think the Indians are really a great piece of good luck. And um, legend has it, in the cigar business, if you have a cigar store Indian and you sell it or somehow you get rid of it, they say your luck goes out the door with it. So needless to say, um, all these Indians are all <laughs> a part of my family now. And they're not going to go anywhere, everybody. They're going to stay with me. Oh, so pretty much that's the belief that if you purchase a, a Native American carving or any of these Indian, you have to keep it as part of your family. You keep it yeah. for you in order to, for the luck to stay with you to in your shop. You. Absolutely. And you know, <laughs> the Cubans, we also have our belief with the Indians and the saints and everything else. Oh, yeah. So for me, it's even a little bit uh, further, I guess. Sure. But uh, needless to say, I mean, this one, my wife went to pick this one up uh, about a few months back. And I told her, I said, you know, I found, it, I found them online and I just thought it was a great piece. And she went ahead and picked them up with my son under a really bad rainy night. And here he is. And then... Uh, we have one yeah, back here. That one back there. Uh, What's the story about this one? This one? This one has an interesting story. That one, 
my father and I bought him in the um, remote little Florida town of Webster, Webster, Florida, which is just outside of Ocala, kind of Ocala, Bushnell area. They do a big flea market out there. Okay. And Dad and I were there one day, and I saw the Indian, and I said, hey, Dad, look, you know we're going to get that Indian, right? He said, I'm not going to get that. I said, I already see the future, Dad. <laughs> Me and you in this cow right. pasture <laughs> carrying the Indian. I'm going to carry him by the headdress, and you're going to carry him by the feet. And you know what? That's, that's exactly how it went down. That's how it went down. Me and him were lugging the Indian around the cow pasture. <laughs> then we put him in his little Ford Focus, and, you know, the headdress was sticking out the window. And How long ago was that? Fernando, that must have been about maybe 14 or 15 years wow. ago. Wow. And I've had him ever since. And I really wish in here we would have brought the new one that we restored. Oh, yeah, the new The one. new old one, because he's yeah. actually from late 60s. Okay. And uh, our local painter... He went ahead and painted it for me, restored it, and I think it looks really amazing. But uh, who knows? Maybe we'll do another episode on that one. Yeah, it's in the entrance of the store, so when you come down to buy some cigars here at Seraphine Cigar, you're going to see him. He's right by the door. Looks amazing. You can't miss him. He's right by the door holding a Cohiba box. That's right. Which is a, a really nice, really feel. Oh, this is really interesting. At least people will know the history you know, behind, the, the, history behind sure. the, the Native American carvings and... and what they represent Absolutely. and uh, when it started, and, and it brings good luck. It does. I have another one at the other store, which was carved out of one solid piece. And, um, I mean, that one is heavy. It's carved out of a big log. Wow. And that one came out of a cigar shop up in the state of Maine. Years ago, the store closed, and then they brought it down to Florida. And I was able to acquire it, which I love that one as well. Um, but I just I think they're just amazing pieces. They're really an amazing piece of true Americana history. That's true. You know? I mean, it's just, uh, you go to the... You know, frontier towns and old west towns. And I mean, there's a guy named Gallagher, and Gallagher carves them still to this day. And okay. if you have a Gallagher, they're, I don't know, up in the thousands of dollars, you know. Wow. They're really incredible pieces, you know. That one there behind Fernando, he's even holding a, a cigar bundle up. Yes, right here, that's a cigar bundle. And then Dad, you know, he painted, like, he hand painted that one because it was really kind of in disrepair. Okay. So he, uh, he helped restore it and. It's just been always a really cool piece, you know. I, I just love the cigar store Indians, you know. Yeah, no, and, and, and the, the history behind it is also very interesting. It and, really is. And hopefully some of you, you know, will, will, will like the, the, the history about it. And if you're, you know, and, and if you have any questions that you would like us to answer, yeah, post it on our YouTube channel and, and, and we'll try the best to answer your questions. Needless to say, we're having a hell of a lot of fun doing these videos. Yeah, we so are. So I are. hope you guys are enjoying viewing them. Yeah. And like he said, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like us to go over, mm -hmm. um, just feel free to kind of, uh, you know, let us know. And this is, this is pretty much a spare of the moment thing. We have some free time and we like to inform. We come up with topics. Instead of keeping it between us and the friends that come into the shop, we put it out there for you guys and to try to help to inform you. Or maybe it's interesting to somebody and, and that's what we do. So we don't prepare too much. We sit We kind of wing it, guys. We, we kind of wing it. it. We wing it. This is what we're doing. And... When we review a cigar, we're pretty much smoking it and we're reviewing it live. We're doing it right there. And, uh, you know, that's what we do. We, we want to give you truthfully what we think about the products that, that we're Absolutely. using and smoking and, and things like this. But what a, what, you know, what a great uh, topic, I think, to talk about. And, it is. You know, what a great topic that kind of unifies uh, the Americas with Europe, really. Because, I mean, let's face it, the Indians or the Native Americans were here smoking the tobacco. And yeah. thanks to them, I mean, this thing just kind of went to Europe at that time. And just took off. I mean, it was like a big, uh, a big deal, you know, yeah. during the 1492 and the 1500s, and then the Europeans started smoking tobacco. And uh, like you said, years later, you know, in front of the cigar shops, you would see the Native American or cigar store Indian outside the cigar store, yeah. and then people would say, "Hey, there it is. That's okay. that's where we gotta go. That's where we gotta go. That's where we gotta go buy our cigars. Cigars, yeah. not cigarettes or vape. Cigars. Exactly. This is what you need to buy. Cigars." And I think it's cool that still to this day we are in 2020 and the cigar store Indian is still the symbol for cigar stores. For cigar stores. I That's mean, how cool true. is that? It's amazing. Yeah. I, I told Fernando, my running joke, which who knows if I'll ever be able to do it, but I have a whole room full <laughs> yeah. of cigar store Indians. Yeah. Well, with, I think I'm working on it. I'm, getting, the, I'm getting there. With, with the couch in the middle. So you yeah, can smoke yeah, the cigar. Definitely with the couch in the middle. You can, yeah, you can. Uh, my own like smoking room. The smoking room. Your man room. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and like our friend Kirk in New Jersey, he says he's going to get a smoking jacket now. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to take it that far. I, mean, I think he wants to look like Hugh Hefner, but yeah. uh, anyway. Well, yeah, it's been a pleasure. And, Always and, a pleasure. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see you the next time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Ciao. No Cheers. Vemo.